Good yes. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Where should I put this in the back? All right. Well, touchdown. Here in Jamaica for a couple weeks to uh, explore. The last time I was in Jamaica was 1999. I was a 19-year-old little boy. <laughs> so long, it's been a long time. A long time, that much. So I'm ready. What about where I'm staying? Where are you it's, staying? It's walking distance. I can walk around to uh, the city? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. How yes. far would you say it's walk to All Kingston, right. Old where, Kingston? Where you are is uptown. Okay. Downtown is 20 minutes or 15 minutes away from your hotel. But walking or, or, or taxi? Taxi. Oh, that's a distance away. Yes, sir. That's a distance. Yeah. I need to find a different hotel. I'm here for a couple days, but that's too far from the action. Oh, okay, okay. All you have to do, call me. Yeah. I'll bring it anywhere you want. Sounds good. Yeah. This road name, Old Oak Road. Old Oak Road. Old Oak Road, okay. yeah. But has anybody told you that you guys are driving on the wrong side of the street? No. Nobody's ever told you? No. No? We are on the right side of the road. You're on the left side of the road. That's the right side. No, for no, us. no, no. no. <laughs> the right side is the right side. Yeah, but we are on the wrong side. Yes. <laughs> I agree with you now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. This, because, is, this is like a business area. Yes, sir. Offices. Yeah. Business era. Okay. That way, near the Musgrave Road. This way is um, um, Trafalgar Road. Okay. Yeah. And what about for food? What what uh, what is your favorite dish? Ah, you know, I say a fish and oxtail. Okay. And cow foot. Cow foot. You ever eat cow foot? No, I never eat. <laughs> There's some things. I've eaten some crazy stuff, but I never I never bit into a cow foot. <laughs> what do you do? You hold the whole foot in your hand like this. No. <laughs> no, it chop up like an ox tail. Okay, that's different. Yes, sir. That's in different. Pakistan, they sell you the whole foot. Yeah. You walk around, you're holding the whole foot. Yeah. Yes, sir. So not here. Not here. It's not, not the here. same. I okay. visualized it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no cow foot for me. But I eat cows, so yeah. really, what's the difference if it's the foot, the back, the chest? You try it. Um, you would need to no, try. No, I'm not into tripe, no. <laughs> Listen, if it's served to me and somebody cooked it nice, I'll try anything. Oh, okay. But I'm not going to go to a restaurant and see that they have a chicken. I'll yeah. choose a chicken. Yes, yes. But yes. tripe, anything internal but for me? No, no tripe. No heart, no lungs. But no I've eaten liver. it all. Liver, I've eaten it. No kidney. It's just not my first choice. <laughs> all right. But all you know right. what happens if you're hungry? Yes. You eat whatever whatever is around you. Yes, 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 yes. The Chinese, they are making a lot of building in Jamaica. Okay. It's like they are moving in. Not, not just Jamaica, the whole world. The whole world? <laughs> the whole world. Okay. I was just in Belize and they told me the same thing. Okay. Parts of Africa, the same thing. They must see opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I give you... Four and a half stars. Because that cow foot sh shit. <laughs> what do I owe you? Four thousand. All right. Yeah, all right. What did he say? He said thirty-four. Uh, four. Four thousand or thirty U.S. Four thousand. All right. This is what the US. currency looks like. Who's this gentleman right here? Oh, it's Manley. Michael Manley. And what, what did he do for Jamaica? He was the one of our prime minister. One of our prime ministers. Okay, a long time ago. Yes, uh, over. Is he alive right now or no? no? He died. Done. Okay. So he becomes one of our heroes. Right. I guess that's what that's what happens when you die. Yes. You get you get your face on the bill. Yeah, you get the award when you die. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Call we'll, me we'll, anytime. We'll keep in touch. Yes. Most definitely. God bless you. Here. Yes, sir. suitcase.
Okay, I'll show you guys around quickly. Then I must go grab something to eat. I am a hungry man. Okay, feel like I'm in the jungle, like, like Tarzan. Swinging from vines. Okay, not much to see yet, but I really don't spend too much time at the hotel anyways. I like to get out and explore. A little office nook. Okay. Gonna kick back for about an hour. I've been traveling. Oh, look at that. Picasso. Um, I've been traveling. Haven't slept much. Um, so, I'm gonna kick back for an hour, shower, eat, then head into Kingston. Shoot some content. Do what I do when I do what I do like I'm doing what I'm doing for TV. Stay tuned. So it's my first day here back in Kingston. The last time I was here was way back in 1999. I was approximately 19 or 20 years old and it was my first solo adventure outside of North America. So I've been to Kingston before. I've actually spent quite a lot of time, but it's been a long, long, long time. A lot of my friends back home in Toronto are Jamaican. I've been eating Jamaican food. A lot of people are messaging me like, you got to eat this, eat that. I'm from Toronto. We got probably the second biggest population in the world of Jamaicans. So there's nothing that I'm going to find here and eat here that I haven't eaten before. Now, normally on my first day in a new country, I like to kick back, man. Those airplanes exhaust me. So I was sleeping. The time right now is, oh, there's my beautiful wife. Um, the time is 8.35, Tuesday, April 25th. I woke up about an hour ago. I'm doing a little research on my computer, trying to connect some dots so I can shoot content tomorrow. But my stomach is talking to me. I'm going to get dressed, go look for a taxi, and show you guys what, what Kingston looks like at night. First I'm going to eat, then I'm going to, yeah, so... Come with me. I guess I need, I probably need to wear some pants and shoes if I'm going to go out. And day or night, always got to pick a pair of shades. Here, these are the transparent ones. Oh, I could go with these ones here. This is something new for you. New for you, not new for me. Been in the collection for a while, so enough small talk. Let me get dressed. Find a taxi, then I'll hit that little red button, bring you guys on a nightly adventure on my first day here back in Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't tell, I'm excited to be in front of the camera again. This series, let me give you my prediction right now before I turn off this camera, this series will be in depth. It is going to be lengthy, like I'm going to shoot a lot of content, because I know there are a lot of incredible people here and the culture is so rich. It's time to get out there. and explore. The woman at the front desk? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice woman. Yeah. Because I'm white doesn't mean I like Burger King. Oh, okay. She's like, you should go eat Burger King. I'm in no, Jamaica. No, I don't want to no, eat no, no Burger King. No. I want to eat a Jamaican meal. All right. Then I can carry somewhere where you can eat the Jamaican meal. Yes. See, I like you already. What's your name? Ludlow. Ludlow. Yeah, Ludlow okay. Martin. Ludlow, that's a difficult a, name to remember. I have a British name. You know, yeah. Or a Scottish name. Okay. Because McLean yes. is Scottish. Yes. And Ludlow is some really British. These names I got from the, the colonizers. colonizers. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. I'm not offended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm white, but I'm not a, I wasn't yeah, here. Right, right. You were, I wasn't here. Exactly. Um Yeah. My name's Chris, I'm from Canada. Okay. I want to show you, man. I just want to carry it to a nice local food place. Yeah, but what you tell me, what's a nice local food place? So you can get some, maybe, bami and haki and mm -hmm. rice and peas and chicken. Yeah, okay. much better than, than Burger King. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Burger King? No. Nah, me neither. I don't like Burger King. No chips <laughs> and Burger King. You want to eat real food? Yeah, and I've been to McDonald's over in the States and I, yeah. I never really eat. Nah, you know, once in a while, yeah, yeah. but I'm on vacation. Right, 
don't want to be eating that stuff. This is out of New Kingston now, okay? Yeah. Outside of New Kingston. Okay. And you guys have very few lights up here okay, in the okay. sky. So these are restaurants? Yeah, man. Man, I like your style already. Yeah, yeah. I forgot your name, but this is Ludlow, more man. Ludlow. 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 Ludlow's easy to remember. Yeah. But this is more my style yeah, right man. here. Yeah. I like you. Yeah, I like you. You can you already tell it's good. Yeah, in the name Charlene's place. Charlene. <laughs> this Charlene? I have a guess here, you know. We have local thing ready with them. She's tired. She says she's tired. On the fried chicken and breadfruit. Rice and peas. Yeah, come on, we're here. Let's let's yeah. make it happen. Then we'll go for a little drive around the All city. Right. You order some for you. <laughs> my, my little spot, this I, I like it. Much better than Burger King. Ooh, I almost fell already. They always say it's the truth. This is the real deal. I like it. So you're the boss, the chef, the cook, the owner, the yeah. waitress, the hostess, yeah. and the cashier. What are we gonna get? Huh? What would you like? Uh, I trust him. Uh, uh, uh. You know me, love everything. I love just fried chicken, and then Alex, you want to do some atifia? You know, I'll, I'll have some fried chicken if it's ready, All and right. some rice. Fried chicken. Small, medium, large. I'm a big guy. What's a what's a large? Two. How many pieces? Two. Two is good. Yeah, and what are you having? I have some breadfruit, man. Breadfruit. Uh, let me try a little breadfruit, too. Yeah, yeah. What part of America are you from? I'm from Canada. From Canada. Part of Canada. Toronto. Toronto. I'm from part of Toronto, man. Say it one more time, sorry? I said I would ask from part of Toronto. Yeah. Toronto's big. I think Toronto's the second most Jamaicans in oh, all the yeah, world. Yeah. yeah, this is a big menu. Yeah, yeah. There's some stuff here. I don't know what this is. What is Bissy? Bissy, that's a, that's a, a push. I know. Yes, no. Cola nut is right. Do you know cola nut? No. Yeah. Cola nut. What about this? Fever grass. It's a, it's a, it's a grass. Grass? Yeah. A grass that's into a liquid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you boil it. Lemon grass. It. Yeah. It's a natural. Uh, there's all a, these are natural. Yeah, there's a lot of things here I've never seen. All these. These are natural. Neem. You're supposed to neem. No, I don't know that either. Right? The Indians are very, they love neem. Alright? Yeah. Sassapura. What about this? This herb. sounds good. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> How do you say it? That's Boom! Yeah? Oh, that's alcohol. Yeah. No, no. Energy drink. Energy drink. And dragon? Beer. I don't like beer. Tell me about the Aki and Saltfish. You're the only spot that does it all year round. Yeah. Okay. In the world. So, and people come here, this is what they love from you. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Yeah? Yeah. What's your Instagram? Say your Instagram. Charlene underscore Aki Spot. Okay. So I gotta come back and try some Aki. I can solve it. She's the best taste ever. This stuff is all over the world, but you said you have your own. So another one is almost like what I make. This is Scotch bonnet pepper. I've never seen this color before. No. It's, it's hot? Yeah, made from strictly green Scotch bonnet pepper. I love it. Whatever the hottest, and I need the hottest. The hottest one. And you can get the raw one too. I can cut up that one. Yeah, I'll try it for sure. <laughs> it's nice and spicy. Very hot. And what, what's your, your your favorite meal to eat yourself? I love I love okra and saltfish mm -hmm. and ackee and saltfish a color combination. Yeah. So next time, that's that's what I should have done, my friend. I should have asked what her favorite is. <laughs> but I gotta come at a better time when it's not so late at yeah. night. But it's two minutes from my hotel, so I'll definitely be back. One of my favorite songs is Charlene. You know this the song? I know. Anthony uh, Hamilton. Yes. Charlene. So I can't forget it now. <laughs> and I want. I basically. You know, want, Charlene song. There's a. a Charlene, a pretty car. I. Yeah. yeah. Come keep going. Yeah. You got that spirit. You got the energy. I don't know that song. <laughs> you don't know. You but don't sing know. it. You guys together. Let me hear. It. No, I don't know. Oh come on! She's Why are you being so shy? No. <laughs> Don't be shy. Only shy. only seven oh million people will watch this. <laughs> yeah, it's a favorite. It's a favorite. Um, I'm gonna upload it for you. I see why people come to your restaurant. Mm -hmm. You got the food and the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> when the open energy, late. Open they open late. Sometimes I open twenty four seven. And you and personally, well, how long do you work? As long as I'm, I'm, I have the energy. Yeah. As long as I have the energy. 
Well, if you don't have energy, I can sell you some boom. I'll give you a boom. Boom. That's a caffeinated drink. Yeah, I try to stay away from it, but. Boom, and the other one they call it Monster. Yeah, we have that. We have that. I drink power. I drink power. What about something natural that gives you energy? Any. This grass? Um, Natural juices. Yeah. Natural juices like beetroot, green juice, sour sap. I do natural juices as well. Yeah. Okay. And this is all you? Yeah. You're doing all of this? Yeah. What time did you start this morning? I am up from 5. I went to the market to get some. What time is it right now? Um, it's 9.06. Man. 9.06. You need an award. I need to get an award on the, the hardest working woman <laughs> in this part of Kingston. See you there. No, it was better when you were singing it, though. <laughs> Not just the words. Just the words. <laughs> like, everybody knows. They know this one. You see? Show me. Show me. <laughs> and we didn't even have the boom yet. Look. Could you imagine they were trying to send me to Burger King? We wouldn't be dancing at Burger no, King. No, no, you'd be dying. Man. We'll be eating a, a, a shitty burger. Yeah. <laughs> this is much more fun. Local food. Sorrel. Yeah. Lemonade. All these are local fruits. See that? I need more time. Right? All I'm going to try all of them. So these are... Some of them, like, these are alcoholic. Ah, well, you know. Alcohol. What about you? You drink alcohol? Yeah, I drink a beer or two. I don't, I don't drink beer. I like tequila, rum, oh, okay. whiskey. Oh, yeah. uh, or Never what had. About, what about crank? Uh, what that? Uh, Ray, Ray, Ray nephew is dangerous. Yeah. Ray, in my country, yeah. right? I have Ray, I have Ray nephew in my bar. Yeah. But when I offer it to my friends, yeah. it's too strong for them. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you? When I was a kid, not a kid. When I was like 20 years old, and I had little money. Yeah. I'll buy the Ray and Nephew bottle. It will last me a long time. You only need a little a taste on your tongue and you're feeling tipsy. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of it. Yeah? Of it. And what about yourself? That's okay. No, I'm not I'm already chicken for you. What is this here? The white one? It's a breadfruit. Roast breadfruit. So you okay. It's good with aki, you know. Yeah. yeah. Not already aki. Not already aki. I'm going to close off early tonight. Oh, okay. And what time is early? Early? What's yeah, early? you said you know. You said today you're closing early. What yeah, time are you closing? It's like, no, shortly. Uh, before I even try the food, I have a question. Sure. In the last month, what is the biggest tip that you got for your hard work and good spirit? I think it was about 5,000. 5,000? Yeah, that's small in Jamaica. You know what? It's small in Jamaica? Well, he's got a smile. If I try this and this is good, we're going to beat the best tip. We're going to do 6,000. Okay, okay. But it's got to be good. You no sure problem. you gave it to me good? Everything good? And what about uh, hot sauce? You need more hot sauce? No, which one Which one is your recommendation? Pepper, you know? Okay. Yeah. And what about to drink? Uh, uh, um, artificial beverages. Uh, yeah, give me some artificial. It's fine. I'll take a Pepsi. My friend, what are you going to have? But yeah. Crown, Yeah. Okay. 100 and how many countries? 123. That's a lot. The There's 197. 197. 197. In the world, yeah. Okay, okay. No that pepper can be very hot, you know. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. The pepper can be very hot. Scotch bonnet pepper. But I know. I have a question. Yes. If I was a Jamaican sitting here, would you say that? Yes, no, you some, wouldn't. No, yeah, some people, no. <laughs> if you're an Indian, I wouldn't say anything because yeah. Indians love pepper. They can eat it. Indians love pepper. So check this they out. Love spicy. The biggest love one? Spice, yeah. yeah, for me, I'm a spice. I love spice. There. Okay, okay. I eat this for in breakfast on my cereal. Yeah, okay. I put scotch on it. Mm. But I love the Jamaican pepper. Add some heat. Yeah, tomorrow I got to bring a light. If I go out at night. Okay. Okay. Much different from the fries, you know? Man, I was so glad to get outside. <laughs> you know, I'm an adventurer. Yeah, to sit inside my room and uh, like I gotta get out of here. I gotta go outside.
So I'm glad I found you. Yeah. You're a good man, I can tell already. Yeah. I need to sit somewhere else so it's too dark. Yeah, that's better. Now I can show you guys what I'm eating here. <laughs> See, my beautiful wife is always watching me. See, the light comes on. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. You work too hard, but I won't say no. Is she kidding me? My wife? Well, she's been... She came to Canada when she was like one or two years old. Right, from the Philippines. From Philippines. Yeah. I was gonna just tell you, she looks like she has the resemblance of a Filipino. The best, the best, best woman I met in my life. Oh my and Charlene's the number two. <laughs> yeah, that's Charlene. <laughs> this is uh, the hardest part about eating on cameras. You only have one hand. Okay, you want me to hold it? Then? No. Okay. Oh. I can't make you work. Okay, okay. Well, you didn't order food, my friend. I'm going to get oh, it for you. Because um, I feel bad if I'm eating and you're sitting here. I should have waited for you. Yeah, where man, we eat together. It's good chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Different uh, taste from the KFC. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you she can't took me eat. around to a lot of places, you know. Yeah. Whereabouts? She took me to the places I call Connecticut, New Connecticut, Jersey, yeah. Yeah, all of these places. Well, what do you? Yeah. How long were you in the U.S.? That was like about three months. Okay. Three what months. is the difference? What do you like about being here in Jamaica? Well, I love being here. Of course, you're Jamaican. <laughs> but for the people watching this that have never come to Jamaica, mm -hmm. you're actually the first Jamaican I talked to on camera. Okay. So describe, what do you love about being Jamaican? Uh, big up to all the, the, the overseas people looking in here. I'm the world. Jamaican and uh, I love Jamaica. Uh, the food is authentic, the weather is beautiful. We have problems, we have domestic problems like everybody else in the world. Let's not fool ourselves. But I believe we are more, um, compared to some countries I've been to, there's a lot of maybe racism and, you know, different culture. You have clash of culture. Culture clashes, right? Yeah. People of different nationalities, but we here, we're a little bit more different here. Though we have a thing we call classism. People might live there because the type of money, money they, they earn, make. right? They you're might be better class. off than you and all of that. But irrespective of it, I like the weather, the people, and everything. We have a lot of different nationalities here. People from many years from China, yeah. India. Middle East, all these places. You know, you know what always messes me up my mind when I see a Chinese man with a Jamaican accent. Yeah. No matter how hard I try, <laughs> I still, I still can't. Can Is there a neighborhood where there are predominantly Chinese people, or they're just spread out all over? No, no. You'd have to go to the, the mountains. Spread all over, yeah. But there's a place called the Chinese Benevolent Center. Okay. A lot of them meet up there, which is further up the road. In Kingston? Yeah, they oh. call it Chinese Benevolent Center. What is it? Is it a shopping center? It's like a, a, a club, like, where they meet. I need to check that out. Uh, yeah, Chinese Benevolent yeah. Center. It's, it's my first day here. What I'm doing at home in the hotel now is putting a list of ideas together yeah. that I can film for the next two weeks. Okay. Right? So that, I think that's a, that's a unique idea. What is Kingston famous for beside Bob Marley? Everybody, Bob Marley, oh. Bob Marley, but what else? Kingston. Sorry, what did you say? Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel. Yeah. A newer, modern, yeah. musical legend in Jamaica. Yeah. She want, you want to hear like Jimmy Cliff and oh, Peter Tosh and all them. It's only music, but what about mm -hmm. outside of music? What is Kingston No, we did the famous well in sports, you know, remember? They, they, this, this they run the fast. They athletics, yeah. 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 Athletics. No, man, before that they had... But Merlin you're saying Bolt Party. is from Kingston? No, he's from um, Rural. Out of Kingston. Okay, but not too far away? Mm. Maybe about three three to four hours away from Oh, here. that is far. Mm. It's in the about three and a half to four hours. Mm. Yeah, about three up three here. Yeah. Chilani. Would you say he's the most Chilani. famous Jamaican right now? You um, saying Bolt? No, Bob Marley. Bob, Bob Marley. But right now, alive today, right? That's what I was trying to say. Bob Marley will always be the most famous 
Jamaican. Yeah. Maybe you said Vibes Cartel. I don't think Vibes Cartel is. If you listen to, to well, you see dance that. hall, then it's popular. But I mean, as an athlete, I think. No, I think you saying Bolts would be the biggest. You saying Bolts in Jamaica, Vibes Cartel, no doubt. Saying Bolts, Chilean phrase. Yeah. Yeah. He's a female athlete. Yeah. So for you guys watching mm -hmm. around the world, write down where you live and and tell me who who is the most famous living Jamaican. I'm curious to hear your opinions. There's also I will go. Pop, oh, there's also a very popular Jamaican sportsman. They call him the universe boss, but he plays the game of cricket. Cricket. The universe boss. Right? Yeah, he, 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 he. I think Chris Gale is more famous than you say. No, no. no I'm around the world. I'm talking about if you saying Bolt went to China, they would know who he was. Mm. That's true. If he went to India, he would know who he was. Chris Gale, popular in India, popular in I wouldn't say but in not like but well, cricket. Like in the game of cricket. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Those are countries that love cricket. But for like my country, there's no cricket in, in no, Canada. 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 No, Canada plays cricket. No, there are people well, that play cricket. Indians we don't have a team. Pakistan. We don't watch that on TV. Nobody, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. It's the Pakistanis living in Canada yeah. that play it, yeah. not Canadians. Right? Sri Lankans, Pakistanis. Sri Lankans. I've been to Pakistan. Incredible people. You've been there? The nicest in the world. You have been to Faisalabad? Uh, no, I haven't. You've have been to Lahore? No. You've have been to Karachi? Karachi. All right. Peshawar. <laughs> Peshawar. Yeah. You've been to Pakistan? I've never been How there. do you know so much? <laughs> so you know a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Right? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. No, you know what? He said Jane and Finch. And I, I was in Jane and Finch yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I was there. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. to, to know a street address, not just a city. And uh, I know the weather is not so nice in Canada also. Not right this not moment. Cool, no, no, it's not always no, cool. It's, it can be very hot too. Man. Yeah. Yeah, but winter time. Winter. Cool. Right now, winter is done. Yeah. But there's an area in Canada where it doesn't have that amount of in, in Vancouver, that side. Yeah. That side. Tell you, you know West everything. Coast. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to challenge you. I'm gonna <laughs> test you on our drive today. You know everything. The, the West Coast, you know. Because you said you have family. Yeah. You have family down there. Yeah. I'm from Canada too. You have family too? Yeah, in Ontario. That's where I'm from. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. A lot of Jamaicans in, in my city. Yeah, I'm close to my brother living in Canada. Yeah. How about Newfoundland? You have Jamaicans there too? I know. I don't think so. And there's Jamaicans everywhere. <laughs> but I don't think you're going to find too many it's Jamaicans. Maybe, right? maybe in yeah. Alaska too. Maybe. Well, I know say so it's easier to go to Canada than any other this country. Not, not, not America. Huh? Okay. I've been to 123 countries. So I'm on a mission to see every country in the world. So I bring a camera. So you can create memories. And I, uh, yes, that's the first reason. But then second, people around the world want to see what a country looks like. So I go to Afghanistan, Iraq. No, I would, have, I would go there. I would go to Afghanistan. You wouldn't Iraq. or you would? I won't. Why not? Because of what you say. The violence of what we see on social media. Oh, but see, this is it. Social media not always right, you know. Because of what the media. It's not, it's not often right. Because right. if it was right, I wouldn't be sitting here in Jamaica right now. Right, exactly. You know, there's a warning come out in Canada. Right. Do not visit Jamaica right now. But there should be a warning right. not to go violence. to the U.S. either. Because of the violence. Because of the mass shootings but in America, right? But in right? Jamaica right now, Mr. Nell. Man down is coming to Earth. Mm. I'm not okay. worried. Yeah, I'm yeah. sitting here. I didn't go to Burger King. No, I understand that you're not worried. Yeah. People around the world need to know that Jamaican just don't beat up and kill a rabbit. Right. So. listen to this. A My friend, the reason I'm here right now and the reason I go to the more dangerous countries is to show that people are nice. Forget about what the media says. You know, because most people that come to Jamaica are not going to come sit out here and eat a meal. Right. But they should. This is how you learn the culture. You taste yeah, the real yeah, food. Yeah, you meet the people. Yeah? Yeah, they always want to know. But first of all, look. You say you take it quite a few, but I mean, if we looked at how many tourists come to Montego Bay, Ochos Rios, they never come All inclusive to Kingston. They don't, they don't even leave the resort. They so. say Kingston is a mother fog. Let say it. Mother fog, guys, know it. My friend, you have to eat something. Get it. And let you try some. No, no, but here, let me get a fresh. <laughs> let me no, get I'm some. Put a small just a little bit. Cause yeah, just a taste it. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Touching it? Touching it. Yeah, freshly made. Just like You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Okay. No, no, that's enough for me now. My friend, <laughs> look at him. His mouth is watering. He's watching me eat. It's not fair. I'm supposed to be waiting for you. Look here. 
America, we should put out a warning to, to go into America <laughs> because of these mass shootings. Can I, can I tell you this? Going and shooting yeah. them, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what My friend, I've been in 123 countries. People often ask me, like, how do you go to the favelas in Brazil? How do you go all these places? What's the most dangerous place you've ever been? And my answer will always be the USA. Like, you I'm, walk through a certain neighborhood in the USA, that's I'm, I'm, me. more dangerous than anywhere else. You ever been to Chicago? Yeah, of course. You been to Parkway Garden? Well, I don't know the name of the, the areas, but no. It doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, and I Parkway Garden. Those places are dangerous. But, yeah, of course. Of course. So what about Louisiana in America? You go that time? I've been there, yeah, of course. Baltimore is a rough area. Detroit, Michigan. Man, if you go through Detroit, it looks like you're in another planet. Half of the houses are burnt down. Yeah, yeah. Nobody walking on the street. Most of young, young, young ladies are bad, but I, I showed them that you can come out. Some years ago in New York, you, know, you were held up. My, my chain and ring so, so you weren't robbed here. You were robbed there. So that's a scary place. No, New York is a trenches, man. You know? Yeah. New York is a trenches, man. I like a Jamaica right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, New York is like Jamaica, you know? Most of Jamaica is New York. We know this song. People normally have this for breakfast in the morning, you know? Yeah. Okay, but because she, she has Aki all year round. Right, I'm traveling every country in the world, and one guy that I met, he's a YouTuber as well, his name is Black Man the Traveler. Mm -hmm. And he went to Afghanistan, Pakistan, mm -hmm. and all these other crazy places with me, mm -hmm. and he's treated properly. Yeah. He's not treated, because what you hear in the media is seldom, seldom the truth. Yeah. These countries are nice. Afghanistan, the people of Afghanistan are incredible people. They would treat you with respect. I think the Taliban right? are good people too. <laughs> That's your opinion. I spent time with the Taliban. Mm, all right, there you go. Missed the carnival. Were you here for the carnival? No, I wasn't. Well, you missed a lot. Yeah, but we have a carnival as well mm -hmm. in Toronto that's actually really, really, really big and it looks similar. Okay. But were you out in the street dancing? No, no, I was just observing. Nah, what about you? You were out in the street <laughs> no, dancing? That's not my thing. <laughs> no? no? With a smile like that, I think you were outside. I'm pretty sure that she was outside. Either that or you're hustling. You had some of this on the I side of the road. I was hustling. hustling. I was hustling it's, 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 it's yeah. And I, I did some some people that. A lot of overseas. Uh, it did well for the tourism. Yeah. And who would you say is coming? Is people of Jamaican descent from around the world? Oh, or just everybody? Everybody. Everybody, everybody coming. Everybody. Enjoy Europeans, it. Europeans, yeah. North Americans, yeah. Yeah. Caribbean. It happens once a year. Yes. What about during COVID? It was blocked off? Yeah, See, I find that all over the world. Yeah. So now that it came back, it gets even yeah. bigger. And the government boasted that they, they, did, they earned over five billion. Billion? Yeah. Oh, that's a big number. Five billion in, 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 earn, in earnings. Yeah. Whether directly or indirectly. Right, right. And it, it helps to build up the brand, the Jamaican mm -hmm. brand. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. so it's good marketing. Two thousand. 2,150? Yeah. See? You're Spanish. Si. You're speaking Spanish. Yeah. Look at that. Do I have any more thousand? Look. One, I'm a man of my word because you're a wonderful person. Three, four, five. There's my tip. Don't forget me. <laughs> right? <laughs> we, we share a little love. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. But you're coming in the picture, it's just me. Come on. Why are you going to make me stand by myself? I don't know. What I mean. Where do we stand? Right here is okay? Yeah, yeah. This one is just me. Yeah, can we see it? Yeah, here. Thank you for staying awake. And guys, if anybody is in Jamaica or visiting Kingston, you got to look up Charlene's Place, the Aki Spot Restaurant and Bar. No, say it with more enthusiasm. If you mean it, you gotta say it like with your heart. Best yes. Aki and sawfish in the world. Best tasting ever. Okay. Ever. Ever. If you want to feel Jamaica, taste Jamaica, come to the Aki spot. Yes. <laughs> Swallowfield, yes. Kingston, Jamaica. And it's your near Instagram? It's near National Stadium and it's near AC Hotel. Your, your Instagram, I'm gonna put in the description below. So people can just, just check you out and say hello. Yeah. There you go. I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Uh
glad having you here. Yes, no, yes. it's my my pleasure. Yeah, it's like you're here from. You're just catching up. It's like you've yeah. always been here. I, I don't feel like, like anything is new. I feel right. like it's been a little a right. break, a it's hiatus. Like you're old. You're but like I, home. I'm back. I feel good. Yeah. I feel real good being yeah. here. Now we're now we're gonna head into Kingston. You ready? Yeah, man. I don't know. You look like you're you're having a little trouble there. Yeah. We're good. That's right, okay, man. All right. Pleasure All right. to meet you. Interview. Interview. Yeah, no, no, yes. The number one restaurant. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My friend, I, I've been coming every, every day of my life, yeah. I want to help one person. I can't do it to everybody. Yeah, but <laughs> every day of my life, even mm -hmm. if it's some, a little something small, I got to so do like a, 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 a lady met she's from, um, Do you mind if that's on so I can see you a little yeah. bit? Yeah. She's from, um, same place that they came to, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Uh -huh. I went to a machine with her. Yeah. One of those that play the game, you know, they, they win money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she won some money. And I said, she said, I have something for you. Yeah. And I said, what's that? She said, you gave me some luck. Yeah. 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 You're a lucky and man. She, and she, she, she just took out 200 US dollars and gave me. I said, oh my God. Yeah. This inside of here, you know, around here is what you call like a, a, a ghetto. This here? Yeah, this here. What's the name of this area? This here is called Swallowfield. Swallowfield? Yeah. What's a swallow? A bird? No, it's just the area. Like okay. we have, like you say, Jane and Finch. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Right. Swallowfield. Yeah. What about the Rasta community? Is there a community where they all live together? <laughs> yeah, but they, you, you'd have to go out to a place called Bull Bay. Okay. That's out in the, the country areas, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This is like a ghetto here. You want to drive through it? Yeah, for sure. What do you mean? All right. Don't even ask me. I'm All ready. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what are these? These are little shops? Shops. During the day, they're yeah, shops. During the day, they have shops there. You know? So what do you call a ghetto area in Jamaica? Is it just a ghetto or something? There's a different yeah. name? Yeah. Some, oh. some people call it inner city. Yeah. Okay. yeah that's the proper, ghetto, yeah. that's the proper poli yeah, political term. See, see people live around here with, ni with nice vehicles too, you know? Yeah. So this would be an area where it's less expensive to live? To live, right. Okay. Right. So we have families that live here. It's very quiet. I thought yeah. there would be music playing. So that would be like normally on, like on the weekend. Friday, Saturday night. Fin de semana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, and as I said it, there's music, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. I, I actually know this community from when I was a little boy. Okay. And I'm gonna show you somewhere that I was living. And what what age were you when you were living here? I was like about 13, 11, 10, 11, 13 in that age. Yeah. yeah. And now, how far away do you live? I'm live near to the mountains. Okay. Near up to the up to the you see the mountains. Yeah. That's where I'm living now. Yeah. So we're still in the community called Solofield. All right. So, so it doesn't look too bad, eh? No. For a night, and it's quiet. It's very quiet. Very quiet. But you know, often when it's quiet, there's a reason it's quiet. <laughs> you mean like tension? <laughs> yeah, tension. Okay. But as the guy told you, he said they don't, nobody doesn't trouble you like that. No, I'm not concerned. You have to be involved in gang warfare or whatever. Yeah. All right, over there is the, the, the National Stadium. Yeah, I drove by it you on the way today, it. yeah. Oh, when you were coming in? Yeah, from the airport. You're, you're, you're a very knowledgeable man. Yes. You were living in Kingston during the time that Bob Marley was alive. Yes. Did you get the opportunity to see him perform? Mm, yes, I've seen him perform. And how? how and I saw him perform over here, the stadium. Something that you still remember? Yes, and my cousin was a part of the Whalers. Wow. He used to play the the guitar. His okay. Name is Earl Wire Lindo. He died uh, a few years, about three years ago. My cousin Earl Lindo. Okay. He was a part I'm of sorry. the original Bob Marley wow. and Whalers. And um, yes, I've been to that performance over there. It was like a concert. Yeah. It was like a peace concert. 
So because there were two, the two parties were at war. Yes, I actually heard of this. Yes. Okay, and he stepped up trying to, to get bring everybody together. The gap. Right. Incredible. You know, when you yeah. when you're it's a big so, celebrity like that, you yeah. could use your power yeah. to perform good. Man, there's too many celebrities that are afraid to do that yeah. nowadays. Yeah, well, I see there's a guy named Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. Yes. He died. Yes. And I understand he was trying to do a documentary on a famous man called Dr. Sebi. Yeah, he died he's as a, well. He, he's right, he died. Yeah. Incarcerated and he died. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was actually a herbalist. Yeah. Who could cure cancer, AIDS, diabetes. And he went to, they took him to court. And he went and he won the case. But these houses look nice. Yeah, that's why I said that people fix up their houses, you know. Yeah. You know, I don't see much shanty towns around here. Yeah. Other people fix up their areas, you know. Yeah. So going back to Bob Marley. Yeah. Did he become, was he a celebrity when he was alive? Like, was he yes, that big yes, of a celebrity? Yes, yes, he was. He yeah. Was because he was even more recognized than the prime minister. <laughs> right. Around the world, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he is the face of Jamaica. Yeah. But I was curious during his life, while yeah. he was alive. I think that's another thing again. I believe he died prematurely a, for yeah, sure. You know, under some dubious circumstances. They said he died of cancer. Mm. But I, I'm not so sure if that is the case because it was, it was like a threat, you know. Yeah. You know? Powerful guy, you know? They call this era top range. Top Community, range. Top range. Okay. And by the way, there's a shooting range in, nearby too, you know? Okay. Where they practice? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Now here, the gangs in Jamaica are, are, are normally backed by politics. Not, I remember not, this... Not anymore, not anymore. No? I remember this from 20 years ago. Like, no, if you were on one side of the road, you had to be with one certain political yeah, group. Not anymore. These no. guys are making money otherwise now. No, okay. Yeah, Things have changed. They don't depend on politicians again. Yes. They're making money through drugs, yeah. scamming, all different things now. Okay. Things have changed. So we're heading to Old Kingston? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In the early days, when there used to be a political tension, these areas were used to be a problem, you know? Yeah. But people have got more um, intelligent now and everything. So, you don't have that anymore. We just, we just drove past a sign that said, Welcome to downtown Kingston. I can go back around. No, no, it's too dark. During the day, yeah. I'll see you. Okay. No, no, let's head into the city. Is Kingston the most populated city in Jamaica? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I mean, like, look, there's no nothing. Everybody has gone to bed or working or whatever. What this building was recently built by the Chinese. See? Yes. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Yes. 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 Uh, Watch this guy walking in the street yeah. here. Yeah. He picked a good spot to walk. <laughs> Kingston. He's a distributor, Grace Kennedy. For yeah. Over 100 years. Yeah. Wow, the streets are empty. Yeah. Look at this. Very, very quiet. Yeah. We got to find some action. I don't want my audience to fall asleep. They got to stay awake. We got to find something. This is where the central bank is. You don't want to know. No, I don't want to see a bank. Yeah. We want to see a bank heist. Not a bank. <laughs> yeah. That's very, very quiet. Yeah. Uh, down here now used to be a, it's a lively spot, but we're, we're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. The anticipation is building. Yeah. Right. Yeah, this is quiet. I don't even see a dog or a cat walking around yeah. the street. It's empty. Yeah. You're going to see some cars on the side. Don't worry. See? I didn't come here to Jamaica to see cars. No, you better we see need to see action. Yeah, see what about crocodiles in Kingston? No, over there's another section they call Portmore. Yeah, that's pretty close. Swamp, yeah. 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 When's the last time you saw a crocodile? I haven't seen one in the ages. In the ages. But I've seen them in videos. Have you ever been tempted to wrestle a crocodile? No. No. I don't intend to. 
I was thinking if I could wrestle a crocodile in Kingston, I'll get millions of views. Oh, man. I mean, a wild one, too. Like, just jump in the okay. water, yeah, grab him by the snout. Yeah, but could you handle that? Could you handle I, we got to try. How am I going to know if I don't try? <laughs> we got to put that on the menu. That's got to be on the must list. Okay. In my lifetime, yeah. wrestle a crocodile. I've touched them, but never wrestled them. So where are we at now? We're in downtown, you know, downtown. If you turn your lights off, it's pitch black. There's no, there's yeah, no. There is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But this is not the downtown. Yeah, man, Show me like. In the day, it's different. No, but I'm saying this is, this is not what I remember. I remember there was nightclubs. There's yeah, people but, on the street selling but, stuff but, as you got to the red light. There are a lot of restrictions now, so. Regarding what, COVID? Yes, yeah, since that it has changed. Still? Yeah, people wow. are still that late again. This is crazy. We gotta get things back to normal. Yeah. This looks like a ghost town. This is around the side where the um, vendors are to market people, but sometimes they have parties around here. Yeah. It's very quiet. Quiet. I'm, I'm curious to see the difference day and night, so. Day, different. Stores of 24 hours, okay? All of these stores. Tasty, I heard this before. What is oh, this? Patty. Patty yeah. Patty. yeah, even in Toronto, you patty get Tasty. Company, yeah. 1966. Yeah, well, one named juicy. Mm. Juicy Which one patty. you like better? Tasty, tasty or juicy? Tasty. Tasty is better. Yeah. I'm going to have to try both. If I get home in an hour, then I got to edit my video, but let's okay. go check it out. We're All here. Right. Cool. Cool. Man, you only live once. <laughs> got to do things. The answer is okay. always going to be yes. Okay. You want to do it? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. What's the name of the club? I don't even know the name. Oh, God. 
Not often, but not often. Man. No, they're not really that But on the weekend, does it get busier? I see this is a problem. Addiction, gambling. Yeah. People love to gamble. They have a drink and gamble. Definitely. But what's back here? The, the same? Same thing. Yeah. But it's the same. It's the same thing. Same thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my first night out. I know the videos are only going to get better and better. Uh, the more people I meet, the more in-depth I get. But, it felt good turning the camera on for the first time in a while and getting out there and hitting record. It's been a couple weeks since I was in uh, Central America, so it just feels good being back on camera again. So, that's it. Now, officially, 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 it's the end of the night. So, back at my hotel. See you guys. Oh, we're going down. See you guys in the next video. Good night.